Hi everybody, this is Kevin. Welcome to our latest installment of our series on lashings. Today we're going to be covering the tripod lash. Stick with me, I'll get set up and be right back with you. For this tripod lash I have my three poles here and I have my cordage tied off to one of the end poles with a clove hitch. I have my toggle here at the ready for whenever I get to my frapping. But uh, to get started here I'm going to kind of put these together and make sure they're all relatively straight here at the end and I'm going to take my tag end of my clove hitch I'm going to wrap that around and then I'm just going to go wrap all the way around these three poles I'm not going to do the weaving pattern here and I don't get too crazy about getting them as tight as a lot of other guys I found if I get mine really tight then I have a harder time getting them to uh, articulate the way I want so I'm just going to keep some tension on them but I'm not going to crank them down too tight on these wraps that will allow me hopefully a little more hinging when I get to my frapping Try to keep everything in line here. There's five. There's six. So, go around the bottom, I'm going to start doing my frapping. And I got a splice line here. That double fisherman's knot there splicing this line together. It's going to fall right into my spot here. You can see, I'm going down between. those wraps there. Kind of move these around a little bit. All around about three or four times there. Give us a nice hinge. Keep everything flat as you go. wraps in. We'll go ahead and hook up to our toggle here. Back around the bottom. And we'll start the other side here. Apologize for my clumsy arms and hands getting in the way of there. I'll keep everything tight as we go. Let me do one more frap there. Then we're going to finish it off here at the end with a clove hitch. Which is just two half hitches, so we're just going to do the two half hitches here. Keep everything tight, uniform here. 
can be tough sometimes on the tripod lashing because everything's so stuck, stuck so tight together here. There's one half hitch. There's two. And that gives us our tripod. Okay, so now that's all lashed up, we take these two on the ends, we cross them over in the front. And we take this one that goes over the top, kind of adjust everything around to where it's uh, nice and secure. I always like to have these two crossing. And then this one that's kind of on the top, resting in the fork of those two. I think it adds a little bit more security to it. A little more strength. You can take this string, this tag we had left over, you can feed it down here. You can put a toggle or a hook or something on it. Use it to suspend your pot over the fire. You can make these as big or as small as you need, depending on the task. You can use them to make shelters. You can use them to make uh, the platforms for a raised bed. You can use them for a, a lot, a lot of things around the campsite. So, another really handy, useful skill to know. Hope you enjoyed the short video. This is Kevin. Thanks for watching.